Time to take a look at today's big game breakdown slash best bet NBA final style Boston at Dallas game three. Of course, the Celtics are heading this series two games to none, winning both games in Boston, now heading back to Dallas. Today, we're going to take a look at the player, player prop in, you know, public bet, probably obvious, probably but we're going to side with Kyrie Irving going over his points total of 23 and a half in this particular contest. We've all seen his production has not been what he's shown all season long or during the playoffs. Subpar in both games so far in this series, 6 of 19 from the field, 7 of 18 from the field. Horrendous 0 for 8 from three-point range. It's only shot two free throws. All of that, you know, we've had three days to listen to it. Everybody knows it. And let's look at what favors this prop bet, Um, especially when you're looking to go over. Kyrie's certainly getting the minutes, 36-30 in game one, 36 minutes, 30 seconds, um, before he got pulled in what was a blowout. Plays 41 minutes, 21 seconds in game two. He's going to get the time on the floor. He's certainly getting the shot attempts, 18 and a half per game in the first two. Compared to his regular season average of 19 and a half, he's just about there. Um, it's better than what he's been getting in the playoffs, actually, 17.7. So you're going to get the minutes. You're going to get the shot attempts. All you can ask for in these overplays is opportunities, scoring opportunities. He's averaging 49.7% or 47.9 from the field in 19 playoff games this season. So, uh, you know, if postseason numbers are anything, he needs to have positive regression back to the norm in this one. Those numbers that he's posted so far are the numbers that he posted in the regular season all elevate when he's at home. At home this year, he's been a better player, 25.7 points per game, 40% from three. Um, At home in the playoffs, he's averaging 41.4% from three. So the 0 for 8, you have to believe at some point that comes back. Um, I'll tell you one other thing that crossed my mind here when making this play is that, yes, Drew Holiday's defending him, and so maybe the previous numbers are indicative of the defenses that he's faced and what he's faced compared to what he's facing here. However, Indiana's point guard duo of Tyrese Halliburton before he got injured in the Boston series, and then subsequently Andrew Nembhard, they scored 25, 10, 32, and 24. In three of the four games in that series, those point guards, the primary defender was Drew Holiday. They went over 23 and a half in three of those four games. So it's not like you can't score against Drew Holiday, but what Kyrie has to do is make shots. I think the final look in this one is pretty simple. The situation is one where Dallas is in desperate need for Kyrie to shoot and score significantly better than he has. The results show that he's going to get the necessary minutes and necessary opportunities to exceed tonight's posted number. He's put up better stats at home. His his home averages are all better. Here's a Kyrie quote heading into this game. They're not going to stop pressing us, not going to stop their pace, not going to stop testing us on both ends of the floor. We know what we're in for, but we have to raise it to an even higher level, and it starts with me. You could take him at his word, or you could say that's just player speak. I'm going to take him at his word and look for a bounce-back effort here off of a pair of uncharacteristic efforts from one of the Dallas backcourt stars in that tandem. Going to look for Kyrie Irving to go over 23.5 points. Um, Vig here is minus 110, so you're not playing any price to play this one. Once again, Kyrie Irving tonight over 23.5 points. Minus 110, that's your best bet for today from NBA at Wager Talk.